Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I'm gonna do a quick and dirty and real wrap up of what it was like to run my brand new antique booth for the first month. If you wanna see how it turned out, stick around. So for those of you guys who've been following me, know that on March the 1st of 2022, I opened an antique booth in the coming Georgia area. And a lot of you had mentioned that you wanted to hear the quick and dirty of what it was really like financially to, um, to run a booth for the first month. So just some, some little details for you. I have a 50 square foot space it is five by 10 and it, the rent is $150 a month, which is $3 a square foot. I do have to pay out of the cedar chest 10% of um, the price of product sold. Also, this is not my favorite part, but it is what it is. If the customer chooses to use a credit card, the 3% credit card fee is passed on to me kind of wish it was to the customer because a lot of them probably would use cash but it is what it is i i decided this was the best space for me locally to be around other vendors that are similar to me so um, that is my overhead it's 150 dollars a month and then 10 percent i'm just assuming 13 percent of the products that i sell so from march 1st to march 31st I did sell 24 items for a sales subtotal of $245.50. If you take out the $24.50 in commission to out of the cedar chest, I ended up spending $6.13 to allow the customers to use a credit card, which is a final amount of $214.82. Less $150 for rent next month, I got my very first check of $64.82 first month in business. However, when I did go through my inventory sheet and a couple of you had kind of asked what I was using, listen, I don't know what I don't know. So all I did was make sure that I put an inventory number on each item, put it in a little spreadsheet. I used to love spreadsheets back in the day, but I have a Mac. So I'm trying to figure out this non Excel version of spreadsheet. So I will show a little bit of what I've done so far. Um, before I bring an item to the booth, I make sure that I tag it. And while I'm doing that, I put it in here so that I can remember what the cost of the item was to me. The cost of the 24 items that I sold was $60. So for a month's worth of work, I made a profit of $4.82. Now, I have a business degree. That $4.82 is definitely not worth my time, right? But it's the first month in business. I do have YouTube supplementing because I'm making this stuff and sharing it with you guys. So there is that little part of the business, but if all you're doing is a booth, $4.82 is not a lot for your time. But a lot of people have told me it takes a good six months for businesses to get um, in the black. So at least it covered the cost of products that I sold. So I am encouraged. Well, as of yesterday, which was the eighth, I have already sold $165 worth of stuff in my second month. So I don't know what the cost of goods sold is yet for, for April, but in eight days, I've already paid my rent. So that is encouraging that I have about three more weeks to see that my profit is gonna be much higher. I did hear a lot of people say that the month, month of March was a little slower than they had expected. And um, I'm encouraged by that. I'm encouraged by all you guys who have, keep saying, just keep going, keep going. I don't want to, I don't want me and my booth to be a place where all I'm doing is trying to make rent every month. I really just wanna make some spending money. I do have the luxury of my husband working full time and allowing me to pursue this passion. So I'm not like as antsy to say like, let's bring in, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month just yet. 
but I'm very encouraged. I do have ex some expenses that I outlaid. I made some business cards. I am spending money on tags. So there are definitely things that'll help me when it comes to tax time. That is a whole different issue. But right now, that is the quick and dirty of the first month of booth, running a booth. And I would say I'm happy with how the first month has gone. I'm ready for it to get better. And I'm already kind of itching to get a bigger space. So what does that say to you? Like probably the more space that I can have in there, the more space that I can have, the more stuff I can have in there. So it has been a fun thing for me to do. If you're considering it, don't expect to make a whole lot of money up front. I don't know. We'll see how next month goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, including DIYs, thrift, thrift upcycling, and thrift flips, just follow me along on this journey of having a creative outlet and making money at it while I do it. I would love it if you would hit subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know whether it helped you or not. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. So this is me getting ready to restock or add another piece of furniture for the month of April. And while I show you what my booth looks like for the month of April, I just wanted to go in and kind of tell you the kind of stuff that sold. Um, I sold a bird house, a wood riser, around two or three baskets, two gnomes, four birds, a gravy boat, my well-behaved sign, a large bunny, so some of the funny signs that I got sold right away, a sewing basket, my little bunny mug, a lot of stuff for spring and for Easter, but as you can see, I'm getting ready for the next couple weeks to get some of this Easter stuff out. I sold an old vintage Bible, um, the wine bricks that I made a while back, a faux plant in a pot, the burlap bunny, the wood caddy, um, kind of a little bit of everything, but what I did notice is the stuff that was painted apothecary, the cute little things sold, and some baskets sold. So it's just a matter of waiting for the right person. I feel good about my prices, and um, I hope you enjoy the tour of my booth.